This is the setup I'm wanting to do inside my house. The grow beds are going to be DWC, approximately six inches deep while being placed on a shelving that will be able to sustain its weight. My question is, do you think this could work in my house in a corner right next to two windows facing east and south? Also, do you think there should be any concern with doing a setup like this? The School of Aquaponics. Okay, Andrew, so we have your blueprint here. Let's see if we can go over this thing and find out if anything in here needs to be changed or if everything is uh, peaches and cream. So let's give a quick overview for everyone else watching to see exactly what we're looking at here. We have our sump tank here. Boom, pump action goes up, it's up six feet. That is the, the, the head height, pretty much. Um, and it goes across to the first trough. The DWC, these are, well, these are not DWC. These are more like shallow water culture systems because they're only six inches uh, deep. So these are shallow water, water culture systems. It goes to the first one, then it will come down, keep going down, gravity fed, gravity fed, gravity fed, comes back down to the fish tank, and then from the fish tank, exits out to a swirl filter, then to a bio filter, then it returns back to the sump tank, all in all, and the cycle just keeps continuing. So um, I wanna be honest real quick. I want, I want, I want, I'm gonna reveal something. This is probably the only blueprint that I would let really let, or that I would actually support being a, a, um, a gravity fed system. Anything with a deep water culture system or a shadow water culture system, something that houses water in the hydroponic component and it holds it there and the plants have access to it. This is probably the only thing that I would support this way because I had ran trials with the deep, the deep water culture systems and I took them offline just to see how long they would last. And they lasted about four to five days before they began to uh, foul up, the roots begin to foul up and before the plant began to wilt. And this is in the summertime or, or not the summertime in the, um, uh, it was during the, the springtime. They're in the springtime where it's hot over here in Florida and this is inside of a greenhouse and these things lasted. So the conclusion is that, you know, sometimes you have to just part from certain ways that you uh, hold strong and dear to, and you have to make exceptions. And this is probably, this is the, this is the only exception that I will give the thumbs up to for a 100% gravity fed uh, um, uh, type of design. That is the deep water culture system, or in this case, the shallow water culture system, just because it does, it's gonna, it takes a while before those roots absorb all the dissolved oxygen inside of that water. And, and they're able to last a pretty long time before they feel any effects. And if so, if anything happens within the fish tank or the swirl filter where you have to cut it offline, um, then those plants will survive. But if you start thinking about hooking a gravity feed up to an NFT or to a, um, a flood and drain, then you know I'm always gonna su suggest that the, um, the split flow is a better option, a way better option in, the, in those circumstances. But like I said, deep water culture system, shadow water, culture system you know you can slide on this one but um so this is pretty much um it this is a fine um this is a fine design right here there's nothing really wrong with this um a few things that you could possibly change is you can raise the fish tank up higher so you can give um more uh, gravity uh, more pressure going towards the swirl filter it'll have more flow more of a um uh, uh momentum going towards the, sw uh, the swirl filter um and you don't want to have these level you don't want to have them level. You want to have that swirl filter slightly lower and then the bio filter slightly lower than the, um, the swirl filter. And then the sump tank, you want that to be lower than all of them. Um, so that would be pretty much it um, for as far as the design portion of it. Um, now, will this thing grow? You said you have them next to windows. Will these, will these, will will it work next to a window? It depends on what you're growing. It really depends on what you're growing. Um, you're not going to really get that much uh, daylight hours or direct sunlight um, growing in uh, next to a window, but you may get away with things like lettuce, depending on how much sunlight you have. And if there's any obstruction in front of it, that's going to impede the, the sun from, from getting through, then it's going to be even more of an issue. So you might get away with things like if there's no obstruction and it's pretty clear, you might get away with some lettuce um, and some, um, um, what's that thing called? The, um, the spinach, you might get away with that. Um, but as far as things like kale and you're not, you're not, you're not growing that kale and collars and, um, and, and things like that. You're not growing that. Those, those need more uh, sunlight than what's going to be provided from a, um, a, a window, a unit. So you would probably get away with it, but it just, I, just, I can't give you the definite answer cause I don't know exactly what it looks like, um, uh, in there, but it is possible. So overall, this is pretty much it. It's a good, good design. Good small little basic design. Um, it will work. 
Um, and hopefully you're able to put it together and get growing and make yourself one step closer to becoming an aquaponic god. Woo!